Hey everybody, this is Mike from On A New Tack. Uh, I just came across this solution for an issue we were running against, so I'm gonna pass it on to everybody. This is uh, Victron Energy's automatic input switch isolation transformer. So in addition to isolating your onboard AC system from your shore power um, so that you can't have uh, leakage current, all, those, all the bad things that happen from that, um, this gets put in between uh, before it goes to the multi-pluses, which are to the right, um, and they kind of do a neat feature on this where the input voltage is passed through and it's either put through one to one or it's put through where it's doubled or it's put put through where it's halved. So when you configure this thing, you decide if you want the output to be nominally 115 or nominally 230. And then the transformer will detect what voltage is coming in and that'll either pass it through the isolation transformer without modifying the voltage or it will do it so that it um, is doubling the voltage to get to 230, or it's halving it to get to 115, if that's what your boat is set for. But in addition to doing that, it, it does one other thing, which is it doesn't really pass it through at one to one. It actually increases the voltage by about 4% by having, by the way they wound the, the primary and secondary windings on the transformer. So what that means is, just to keep the math simple, if you had 100 volts going in and your boat was supposed to be at around 200 volts, that 100 volts would get doubled to 200, and then it would be added, 4% would be added to it, so you'd have 208 volts on the output. And the reason they do that is so that if you, oftentimes, the uh, if you're at a dock, and there's a good distance, you know, for the power cables to run down the dock from their their transformer, where they get from their, uh, their power from the power company, there's a long distance, so the voltage is gonna drop some by the time it gets to your boat, and it might be too low. And that's great. However, if, like, like uh, Sue and I, we don't really hook up to a dock very often. We have a little 2000 watt generator that, generator that we got, and that puts out voltage right on the back of the boat, so there's no drop. And actually, when there's no load on it, when you first connect it, the voltage is at 127 volts. So by the time that gets doubled and then 4% is added, is added to it, it gets to be way too high. It's almost 260 volts. And that voltage is enough that the multi-plus um, charger inverter says no that voltage is too high I'm not going to pass it through so what you can do is I'm gonna take this cover off I had it unscrewed uh, you can switch these cables so these are the secondary winding cables these are the primary winding cables and normally these are not plugged in here they're plugged in on this side and vice versa these are plugged in over here and you have the primary voltage coming from your show power going in and it comes out at 4% um, higher and depending upon how the relays that are here are configured and that's happens automatically by this device it determines if it's using the two primary connections which again on mine are secondary but if we envision how it normally is if it's using these two in parallel to these two or if it's making one big loop where the voltage goes in here comes back out to here and then this one just gets jumped to here goes into the coil and comes out to here that will give you one long coil, or if you put these two in parallel with this, then it gives you two short uh, coils that can carry twice as much current. And then the same thing happens on the back side, but on the back side, you know what your voltage going into your boat should be. So by setting these jumpers here, uh, this one and I think that's it in my case, yeah. Because we're running 230 volt, there's only one jumper. If we were running 115, there'd be a, a pair there and a pair here to basically accomplish the same thing I said over here. But there doesn't need to, be, need to be any intelligence doing that because you know what your boat is supposed to be. It's always gonna be the same, so you configure this when you set it up and you're good to go. But again, if you're getting too high of a voltage to your multi-plus because you're in a situation like ours, you can reverse these and instead of it increasing the voltage by 4%, it's decreasing it by 4%. Now for us, that happens to work perfect because that actually gets us to very close to 230 volts on the output. US voltage is really not 115 volts anymore, it's 120. Uh, I think that changed like 20 years ago as the standard. So 120 in to 230 out is almost perfectly cut it in half and then reduced by five by 4%. So it solved our problem, it was very easy to do. Um, and I have the full instructions. Uh, I have this diagram that I printed that I have taped to the back side. And I'll post that up on a uh, blog site so you can download that and use it if you'd like to. And it actually shows 
what your input would be versus what your output would be given different input voltages that you measure at your actual shore power connection and then what the normal ranges should be for different standards like 230 UK voltages or European voltages, 120 US voltages, etc. So I um, hope this helps. Um, I also did this just to pass it on. I put a little sticker on the outside just to say, hey, this isolation transformer configuration is currently in a buck mode. So boosting it is the default when you buy it. So it's boosting by 4%. I swapped those um, primary to secondary windings, and now it's bucking, so reducing it by 4%. So I hope this helps. Uh, ask any questions if you have them. Um, don't do this if, you, if this doesn't make 100% and you're not technically savvy, um, but it is an option that can solve problems. And even if you have to hire a Victron technician to come do this for you, it is a very viable option. And um, the, the windings are perfectly rated for the current on both sides. So there's not really any concern on that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, reach out. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know uh, if you have any feedback. All right, take care.